morning. You know that feeling when you, you've just woken up fairly early and packed up your tent and then just as you put the last thing into a bag and the last thing that you need to pack up is the tent, it starts to rain. <laughs> Thank you Mother Nature. Sometimes you get the feeling that they're just having a little game with you just to see how you react. <laughs> Yesterday the weather changed just time and time again. Uh, I I left camp pretty pretty late. I just had a, a fairly relaxing morning, and then within an hour, everything had switched. The wind was in my face. The waves were so so spiteful that uh, I felt there was a risk of of getting turned by an accompanying gust. So I came in, pitched the teepee, and just thought, oh, this feels like the long haul. I might be here until tomorrow, and. Within an hour and a half, everything changed. The difference in that time was incredible. I then had a really big crossing, uh, about 11 miles, I think, before I rounded the peninsula, saw a Hurtigruten ship coming out. Three weeks and two days ago, I left Tromsø on a Hurtigruten ship, the MS Finnmarken, and it took 32 and a half hours of northerly travel to, to get to Chirkenes. That ship over there, and I can't tell which one it is, I'm a bit too far away, left Tromsø two and a half hours ago. I'm so close to getting back there. <laughs> that first big section of the trip, reclaiming all those miles that I travelled by Hurtigruten in the first place. You know what the crazy thing is? By the time I get to Tromsø, I still won't be a third of the way into this trip. This country is so big, it is massive. <laughs> but man, I can't get tired of this. Look at this. Mountains everywhere! Fishing villages, ships. Now sunsets. For the first week of the journey, there were no sunsets. Why does that happen? Oh, amazing. Three weeks and two days. Tomorrow, probably the day after, I'll make it back to Tromsø. But first, a little more paddling. Oh man, I'm so tired. <laughs> but I'm happy. Woo. And then a couple of minutes later, another Hurtigruten ship came southbound and I just, I just love the quirks in this family because Every time a Hurtigruten ship sees each other, they, they either have a waving competition or they have kind of a, a chorus song of, of horns between them. I think at about 10, 10.30 p.m. at night, they, they had a little sing song just in the middle of the channel. It was really lovely. And then I, I was on the water until about quarter past 11. I couldn't find a pull-in spot. It's, it's very, very rocky around here, but I finally found a really lovely beach, set up a fire, dried my wet gear out, ah, oh, and just had a lovely six hours. And now I've got another eight mile fjord to cross and slowly making my way to Tromsø. Oh, it feels like a big section of this trip is about to be completed, but with so much more, um, I'm always very wary of kind of celebrating uh, even even the small things. So much can happen on this journey and will. But for now, I'd just like it to stop raining so I can get moving, at least semi-comfortably. <laughs> Tonight I've got two friends coming in, Chris and Andy, and they'll be with me on the water for the next week, so expect hijinks and a lifting of spirits if indeed that's possible.